Yeah, this is a really exciting day for our program. It uh, is the day we're able to, you know, publicly announce who our newcomers are going to be for next fall, and it's a big day for these, you know, young ladies who have worked so hard to get here and their families, and you know, for us to start generating some real excitement uh, for next season's team. And we've got a group of. Uh, returning players that are already here working hard on campus and that includes uh, three of our newcomers as well. Um, we've added a uh, young lady who was already uh, enrolled here at Alabama uh, to our team and we've brought in uh, two players that graduated high school early and um, you know they fit in real well already. Danielle Harabin is from Capel, Texas and she's been here at Alabama for two years. Uh, we saw her play with the Defeaters Club, uh, Hugh Bradford's team out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, back in the recruiting process. Uh, we knew she was a good player. She was interested in uh, joining us at that time, but uh, some of the circumstances uh, didn't make sense. Uh, but she's joined the UA club team here, and we've uh, kept tabs on her, kept monitoring her progress, and the timing was right for us to invite her to join our team this spring. And uh, she's come out, and uh, she's fit right in right away. Uh, she's an attacking player. Um, got a great physical presence uh, around the goal. And uh, she's, uh, we're excited that she's, you know, stuck with it and decided to join our team now. We also had two players graduate high school early uh, and join us this semester. Uh, real excited. It shows a little bit about their determination and their uh, academic uh, achievement level. Jordan Meyer out of St. Peter's, Missouri. She comes to us from the Scott Gallagher Soccer Club out of St. Louis. And Scott McDaniel uh, does, does a great job with that team. Uh, she's made uh, some of the all ECNL events, been in the youth national team pool. She's a central defender who has a tremendous physical presence in there. She's calm and composed on the ball. And uh, <clears throat> we uh, anticipate her having a great spring for us and uh, really busting through the learning curve <laughs> and doing a great job uh, this spring, getting a head start. Uh, also joining us uh, in that same category is someone who graduated high school early and has, has uh, started with us now, Auburn Mercer, uh, out of Weddington, North Carolina. She comes to us from the Charlotte Soccer Academy. And uh, Adam Denton has coached her for the last several years, done a great job with her development. She's an extremely versatile player. I can uh, literally picture Auburn playing in any of our lines on the field uh, from the front to the back. Uh, she's got a good, good physical presence. She can head, she can tackle, she can distribute the ball, she can score goals, uh, she can defend. Uh, so she's a well-rounded player that uh, a spring of college soccer is going to do her world of good as well and uh, really give her a head start going into next fall. We're really excited about the group that's going to be joining us next fall. Um, we've got uh, a well-rounded group uh, that we've, we really believe is going to move our program forward. Uh, this is, you know, it's been an effort, a, a team effort from our staff, uh, Jason Lowe, Tatum Clowney, who do a tremendous amount of work for us recruiting, literally, if, uh, we've traveled the world once again um, to, to assemble this group of players, and we're really excited to, you know, announce who that's going to be today. Caroline Alexander uh, is joining us from Charlotte, North Carolina. She uh, also is from the soc uh, Charlotte Soccer Academy team that Auburn played for, you know, coached by Adam Denton. And uh, she's a, a back line player who can really play anywhere across the back line for us. Uh, she can play with both feet, plays on the right side, the left side, or uh, you know, has all the qualities that would uh, make a good central defender as well. So uh, we expect her to come in and uh, make, a, make a quick transition to our back line. Haley Brohow from Madison, Mississippi uh, is one of two players that are going to be joining us from the Mississippi Fire Club team. Uh, Kenny White's done a great job with that club and uh, that team over in Mississippi and that's a, you know, I like the fact that that's continuing uh, sort of the lineage of players that's coming in for, to us from Mississippi when you look at our roster and you see the success we've had with Molly Atherton and now Laura Lee Smith um, to add, you know, Haley Brohow uh, from, from, uh, from that same team over there, uh, Mississippi Fire. She can play in the back, she can play in the center of the midfield, she can play um, a variety of different positions. She is super technical and she's uh, been a member of the Region 3 region team. She comes with us uh, with a lot of good youth experience. Also from that same team, uh, Catherine Stratton, uh, who will be calling her cat while she's here. Uh, she's a goalkeeper, so that uh, fits her appropriately. She's from Tupelo, Mississippi, and uh, she's also from that Mississippi Fire Club team and has had a great youth career uh, coming up in and out of the youth national team pool at various levels. And uh, as a goalkeeper, her potential 
is really um, is unlimited. And once she gets in our daily training environment, being able to work with Jason uh, on a daily basis and get in with our core goalkeepers, we really think uh, Kat's really going to blossom into a great college goalkeeper. We also have Noel Sands join, joining us from uh, Temecula, California. Uh, she uh, comes to us from the Legends Football Club. Uh, Joss Hodges out there has done a great job with that club, uh, coaching that team and uh, really developing some good players. Uh, we're really happy to you know, get it, um, another player from California to add to our team out here. Uh, Noel brings the unique quality of being a dual citizen. Uh, she also has uh, Costa Rican heritage. So uh, because of that, she's been with the Costa Rican under-17 national team. Uh, she's also recently been called up to their full team uh, on the U.S. gold medal tour recently. Uh, she was able to play in the game up in Rochester, Minnesota uh, with Costa Rica against the United States team. Uh, she's got another call up uh, ahead of her, and I think she'll be in the pool for the under-20 national team for Costa Rica to you know, compete for a spot in the next World Cup as well. So. Uh, Noel's an outside back who will come in with you know, a combination of great club experience out on the West Coast, mixed in with some international experience, uh, should really help her out um, with her transition to playing college soccer. And also we've got Lauren Collins, uh, who's just really, you know, her story is, is a little bit unique where we've discovered her late in the process and that's interesting because she's just down the road from Homewood, Alabama. Uh, from you know, the BUSA organization, Birmingham U uh, United Soccer Association, and uh, Andrew Brower um, just told us, uh, you know, fairly recently that we really needed to start taking a close look at Lauren. She's kind of been a lo late bloomer in the process, and um, with that, um, you know, we think she's just got untapped potential. So we're really excited to uh, be able to sign Lauren um, and keep, uh, you know, the Alabama connection going and have some homegrown talent here on our team. We're also excited to announce the signing of Molly O'Keefe. Uh, she's from Anaheim Hills, California, and she comes to us from the Irvine Strikers Soccer Club. Uh, she's a midfielder who's a big physical presence. Uh, she plays on both sides of the ball. She's a really good defensive midfielder, uh, can really contribute to the attack with the way she distributes the ball around, uh, can score goals from long range. So she could re be, really be a threat for us uh, coming in and playing in our midfield. You know, it's really, really good for us to keep getting players from California. The, some of the best competition in the country uh, with club soccer comes from California. So uh, week in and week out, um, those players, the competition that they get out there, it really helps them make the transition to college soccer uh, much easier. Um, so we're really happy that uh, Molly has uh, decided to join our team. So I'm happy to present uh, this group of young ladies who's going to make up our, uh, our 2013 a uh, team that's going to be able to compete for us. Uh, we're really excited about the potential of this group. Um, I think you know there are, there's some common threads that run between all of them. Extremely athletic, really good soccer players, good students, and good people. And um, you know it's really what we're looking for, and we work hard um, you know to find all those qualities in the players that we bring in. So um, this certainly uh, is a great day for us, and is an exciting day to be able to announce this group of players.